Hey everyone, Tommy from TechNexus and thanks for joining me on today's videos. If you've been following me the last couple of days, I've been covering some sheet uh, metalwork uh, and plate in Advanced Steel and Fusion. Ultimately, you'll need to decide on what kind of project it is. It will determine which uh, software package you use. For the steel details, for the mining guys, uh, Advanced Steel might be the better option, but then for the mechanical guys, um, Fusion might be better, but again, there's nothing stopping the, the steel guys from doing it in Fusion, exporting it out, and then you can bring it in as a special object, perhaps, in Advanced Steel. One of the other features I wanted to have a look at in Advanced Steel with the, the, the plate work is the conical folded plates. So if you're, again, on a mining job or something that needs hoppers and shoots and all that kind of thing, you've got the conical folder plate command here. And I've got two contours here, a rectangle and a circle, and they're both offset from one another in, in both the X, Y, and the Z value. And I can just pick the contour of the first one and contour of the second one, and then advanced steel goes through and creates that folder plate for you. Keep in mind, when you look at your justification, you can see here that contour was set there, but my model has been offset a little bit. So uh, take note of that when you are modeling. So those justifications will uh, change as you uh, de define the offset for those. So I'm just going to go through and do the numbering. And then I'm going to go through and do a development drawing of that. And then we can see what it's going to look like when it's rolled out and flattened. Okay, and I'm just going to change it to be one in five just to make it look a little bit neater on the sheet. And go up to labels and just reorganize that view. So there's uh, all the extremities of that plate that you're going to need, plus uh, the, the uh, where all the folds are going to be as well. You could probably go through and, and dimension that to your heart's content, uh, but ultimately you could get uh, this DXF out. Now what I want to do for this as well is I want to throw a flange on here. So I can just come back over to this edge here. And then I'm going to do the plate command again, just a rectangle. And then just come out a certain width. So again, you'll you'll just go through and manage that for yourself. And I'll place it at the bottom. Okay. And then just to make it look a little bit more realistic, I'm going to throw some holes in there just because we're doing some flanges. And then go corner to corner. And then the distance. So let's go two by four. Let's go six and throw in a 25 edge distance on there. Let's go a little bit more. Okay, so again, that might be a flange that you need to connect uh, for this hopper. Um, it could be resting on some beams out here. It could be something that you'll obviously determine that. And then what we need to do to join that is just use the folder plate command again. And then there it is. So advanced seal tells us it's 61. Uh, 0.58 degrees with a radius of 20. Okay, now for my drawing, as is with most advanced steel files, I don't need to do anything other than do a force update or even a revision on that, and then I can look at the drawing inside the document manager. And you can see here, advanced steel has added that plate in there and dimensioned all of those holes in there as well. So uh, that way, again, you don't need to come back and read DXF anything. You can just uh, click on the DXF command and get that automatically out of the model anyway. So hopefully this has been a bit informative for you. If you're looking to do plate work uh, in advanced steel, then that's one of the options to do uh, some hoppers and shoots. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down. And if you didn't, please do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get daily notifications of all of my videos. And I will see you tomorrow for, I think, maybe some more advanced steel plate work. We, we can just make this the advanced steel plate week um, and go through and look at the options and see what's available to you. And I will see you tomorrow for that. Thanks a lot.